everybody, you are very welcome to this first time playing Diablo Immortal. So we're going to go through this game for, let's say, about two hours, but broken down into a first time review of this game. So pretty much a first impressions video. So I'm going to be playing, I'm going to be trying to see what the connectivity between the PlayStation controller or any controller of your choice and the keyboard is for this version. Now this game has just released on June 2nd on open beta on Windows and also it released just the other day as well, I believe it was yesterday. Um, the 1st of June, I think it may be released a day early or something like that, uh, on mobile. So if you have mobile, then you can absolutely play this on your mobile phone. I have quickly tried it on mobile just to kind of have a gist of how it works and it actually feels very good. But now we're going to actually try it for the first time over on PC, okay, using once again um, the both the keyboard and the controller and kind of have a, you know, a sense of if it's going to be good playing on either of these as well as just the mobile device. So, okay, Diablo Immortal, it's going to be taking, uh, it takes place between the events after Diablo 2 where the World Stone has shattered and we have to collect fragments. That's what I know just from marketing. Um, and from what I can kind of tell so far as well, it's definitely borrowing some mechanics from Diablo 3 and has characters from Diablo 2 and stuff. So it could be very interesting. According to Blizzard, it's the largest Diablo game to date right out the door. And I'm sure there'll be more updates coming in the future as well. What I'm very curious though, since it is a mobile game, Primarily, it was built for mobile. How egregious will the cash shop be? Because it's one reason I generally do not play mobile games is because they just want to suck cash out of you. So let's see what Blizzard Entertainment thinks is fair. This is going to be very inter interesting how we, as we play. I might not know all the details right away, but this is why it's a first impressions. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack on with this and let's see how we go. So we have a choice of six different classes. We have the Barbarian, which can be made, um, and I, as far as I know, they're probably all male and female. I don't think there's any class locking, race, uh, racial uh, gender locks or anything like that. We have the wizard, ranged and uh, magical. Nice little animation uh, kicked in there as well, it seems. Uh, it seems to be very standard nowadays to have a big flashy animation when you're choosing your character. We have another, we have the demon hunter, another uh, class which came from Diablo 3. Uh, the monk, another Diablo 3 class. So definitely uh, takes the inspiration from Diablo 3 with the classes so far. We have the Crusader, which I played a lot of on both um, Diablo 3 and Diablo 2 resurrected most recently actually, the Crusader, so definitely a paladin. I'll just, for this let's play, for this um, first impressions, let's try something a little different. I might try the wizard. Then we have the Necromancer as well, so if you like your, your skeleton minions and, and uh, magic and all that. But, um, and just to show you the animation for the Barbarian, he definitely probably has, he definitely has the coolest animation. Um, the others are a little bit lackluster in comparison, he, he gets to actually fight things properly. Um, so yeah, let's, let's try the wizard, um, and let's go for a female, let's go for a female wizard. Let's see how that works out. Um, it actually kind of reminds me of my first character in Diablo 3 back in the day, which was a, a, also a female wizard. Um, so we can do a gear preview of different gear that they can eventually wear. Oh, that's pretty cool. Maybe these are like uh, class sets, I'd imagine. Pretty cool. I'm currently playing this at the moment using the controller. Uh, so I can also customize my hero. We have some uh, starting options right here. Ooh, this actually looks pretty cool. I actually like her as she is, pretty much. Let's let's make her, yeah. Let's let's kind of go like this. This is pretty cool. D but just for the sake of the video, let's see how much customization can we actually do. Okay, so we can change her skin tones around. Um, we can give her a beard. Oh no, just hairstyles. <laughs> Look. Okay, they're using the same uh, <laughs> for both male or female. So we have a. Mm, we don't have that many hairstyles. I'm. The customization is definitely a little uh, lacking. 
you know, um, with how much, I, I guess, options you have there. Okay, you can change the tone of the, uh, of the hair, the color. Uh, you can change the brightness of the hair roots, the length, the, uh, the opacity, uh, the hair ends. Okay, you can do a little bit of settings there with the, with the hair ends and stuff. But I'd rather have just different hairstyles than just like, you know, let's, let's color my hair, my, my beautiful hair. Um, also you can change, okay, so you can change their face around a little bit, their, their forehead position and stuff, their width, the uh, inner cheeks, cheekbones, outer cheeks, um, let's just cut, yes, it, it definitely looks, let's give her some wide cheeks, we like my lady with some big cheeks on her, yeah, you got those big cheeks going on girl. And we have outer cheeks, upper jaw as well. I kind of like how she is jaw. So, okay, there is definitely a lot more customized, uh, customizable options when it comes to the face itself. So eyebrows, eyes, nose, you get kind of typical sliders here and mouth. Ooh, the fullness of the mouth. Do we want big lips, honey? Give them those big lips, honey. Ooh, yes, yeah, so kissable right now. Looks, looks a little bit kind of Angelina Jolie like. Mm. And oh, of course we can give her her eye makeup. You go girl. Okay, so she has lots of uh, different makeup selections here. Ooh, oh, I kind of like this already. Actually, no, I'm going to keep her with this. Um, I'm assuming, yes, we can change the color of this. We can even customize the color. We can see how, uh, how apparent it would be. We have different markings on her. Um, we can change the type of eyebrows and pupil colors as well. I might give her a bit more of a kind of like an arcana, like, you know, um, yeah. I like this. Okay, we're gonna go with this. I like this. Okay, so I was slightly wrong. I will admit I was slightly wrong. There's not much choice with the hair style, so I still uh, will upheld that, but there is a, a, a lot of depth when it comes to the actually face uh, side of this. So maybe Blizzard, maybe eventually a few more hairstyles for people, but in all fairness, I suppose lots of people will just have their hair hidden underneath helmets, uh, and such at that, and we are going to name you Sorceress Lady. <laughs> I, I, I'm just kind of looking now at the random names that the game can actually give you. Oh Hawk. Yes, that definitely sounds like a, an amazing uh, name. Oh Hawk. For this part, I'm actually going to switch. Oh, it actually is seamless. Okay, that's cool. It, it seamlessly goes to the keyboard because I hate trying to type on the, on the, with the controller um let's just call her after what was my okay i call <laughs> ashira yeah she's definitely an ashira this will be named after my previous wizard in diablo 3 many many years ago at this stage this is it the dog for wortham god that whole village has gone to hell oh, it's story time you sure i can't take you someplace else I didn't cross the world. Now, once again, this now. was built for the town mobile, is through the forest, okay? I so, I the graphics will be good for mobile. I think these guard. graphics are very similar to D3 already, actually. Are along the same lines of them. Like, technology has advanced so much since 2000. And, is it 14, 13, something fortune. like that since they, it came but out? Thank you. I will keep my eyes open. Okay, so I'm playing once again with controller. How do I attack? Do I just press X? Okay, so I have one ability so far, which just seems to be some sort of magic missile. How do I... Okay, I have nothing... Okay, okay. the game's not... Okay, it's not giving me much to really work with. Yeah. But it's only the first five seconds of the game. Calm down, Jay, you're not gonna have ten abilities right now. I don't think you can... Well, you might... Oh, okay, it's already giving me another ability, Scorch. So... Okay, so this is directional place. So I hold down the button so I can so I can so I can aim it. Okay, that's good. So I they gave me two abilities right Get away from those villagers! Okay, show me the stakes a little bit. Okay. Okay! Okay, so that's, that's pretty cool. So there's a lot of holding and I can change the path of a few things. I have three abilities right off the gate. So I have my single target ability, uh, which I'm using right now. And then I also have two holding abilities which are dependent on my direction. So I'll use the fireball for when I want to attack multiple creatures. And when I want to pick off single targets. Oh, okay. When I want to pick off single targets, I can use my L1 or R1. 
pretty, pretty cool. Uh, how do I look at what these abilities are? I guess I can't do it yet. <laughs> Just gain the level up too, so that's cool. An outsider, drawn a where they do not belong. Okay, you have to taunt me with some enemies, of course. Wortham is dead. Oh, okay, we're going to the boss already. Okay, we got the boss for battle. Let's maybe start straight away with a boulder to your face. So that the more I pull down this, this storm button. Okay, the uh, boss does have um, abilities, which is good. I like the abilities and abilities. Okay, so I can get experience experience globes when I kill an I um something. Okay, I can pick up uh, a mantle. Okay, so now I okay, so now I can um Okay, so I can toggle. Okay, so pressing that I can toggle so I can go up to these menu buttons up here. Okay, so red. Okay, so, uh, now we can view what the skills are. Okay, let's see how many skills can I actually use in this game. Um, I even have a new one, Lightning Nova, as well. Hurls 10 balls of lightning away from me in all different directions, dealing some damage as they pass outward and again as they return to your new location. Okay, limit six six hits per target. Hits two and beyond, uh, they only deal 30%. So the more it hits people, the less it does. The Arcane Wind, that's my um, big uh, ability that I was using, so it's a charge ability. Unleash a blast of wind in a direction. Charging longer increases the range, the knockback distance, and increases the damage. Deals 50% increased damage to burning enemies. So pretty much use my Scorch, um, Scorch attack and then use my Arcane Wind. That's what I think this is the combo the game's kind of nudging me towards. So what can, else can I get, okay? Okay, 8, 15, 20, 28, 38, 41, 44, 47, and 50. Okay, um, so max is 50. My primary attack, I can I have two primary attacks. One's not unlocked until a bit later. I have the I have room for one more ability. And then I'll have to start changing as I gain all these extra abilities. Meteor, Arcane Torrent. These some of these sound very familiar. Disintegrate sounds really cool. Teleport, yeah. I'll get around a lot faster. Okay, that's cool. Um, I can also um, open up my inventory. So, okay, so what can... Okay, so it's pretty much giving me a tutorial how to actually equip items. Okay, very straightforward. So each item will give me a score, so like a gear score, and just it gives me nine damage. There's no additional stats yet, at least. Um, okay. So I can equip, what can I get in this? I can get a necklace, I can get a charm, I'm not sure what the charm is. Uh, maybe it's like D2 inspiration. I can get two rings, your standard hands, a waist, feet, a weapon, an off hand, like a shield or an orb, uh, legs, chest, and your helmet. I can also equip some cosmetics once I get them. Okay, that's, um, that's pretty good. Do I have any cosmetics? Oh, okay, you can even change how your town portal works in this game. Um, ooh, unlock with the shop. It looks nice. It, okay, 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 game. What do you mean, unlock with the shop? Oh, okay, so I actually can't look at the shop just yet. Okay, game, you're not letting me... After you're trying to get me quickly. addicted a I'll little bit before you start asking me for money. Okay, okay, we'll 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 go with that. So, Bruce. and this, and since, and also since the fact it's is fully voiced now, maybe not all of it is full is um is voiced, I'll find but the just the fact that this is a mobile game, remember? And I think how many times am I going to say that in this video? Oh, okay. Ooh, that's interesting. Now I have lots of enemies compared to what I had already. My health seems pretty okay. Get to them quickly. No. Now the game is pretty much telling me where I should go because it's giving me the footsteps. At least it's not a set of rails, which is good. It's kind of level five already. Wow, I'm only playing a few minutes. Okay, but I guess that's normal. They want you to kind of get into it and make you feel like you're, you know, you have good progress. So far, so good. Like anything that, like the more materials a game can put in, uh, the better, <laughs> you know, in terms of cash shop, because there's more things to buy. Oh, okay, you give me a kind of portal so I don't, don't have to run back. That's always a nice little uh, extra. So they, we have the waypoint system. 
which pretty much did all the games kind of have that. Well, uh, yeah, more or less. You know, I didn't thank you properly, friend. Okay, so I can salvage items. I tap an item to salvage. Okay, you're about to salvage an item that's stronger than the one you currently equipped. Oh no. Okay, before we salvage, let maybe. Now you can skip these cutscenes as well, especially if you see them before. That's good. Or you just don't care about the story. Skarn is the main antagonist for the sin of your Just due to marketing, that's all you believe in. Apparently a lieutenant of Diablo. They'd probably just made him just to be like, we need something. We Diablo's already dead, you know, we, can, we and we can't just like keep bringing Nothing Diablo back. Um, so we have, so he's going to be our new big bad in this game. Pretty much Diablo. Um, okay, so we have a staff. I'm assuming this, this staff is probably two hand or something. We probably can't equip a, an outside ability. Okay. Can we? Oh, we can. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. So these breaches give me extra life. So the breaches give me life. They give me life. Okay. Cool. Hopefully inventory space isn't a big issue in this game. Um, okay, I can't talk to the blacksmith again. Okay, so they're controlling what I can do just for now. Probably Remain just to guide calm, me. calm, everyone. We are not bereft Deckard of Cain, yet. stay a while and ah, listen. Hello, oh, come friend. On, say it. You've arrived at quite a difficult time. As you can plainly see, the townsfolk are ill at ease. But we Is should the same be voice safe enough there? here for the moment. My name is Deckard Kane. He's similar. I'm I don't know if it's the same voice actor. I'm a traveling scholar, though. one might say. Oh, they just wanted to get... They're just trying to guide me through it as quick as possible. So I can select an item or I can salvage them all. And I'm going to get some scrap materials. Now, if this is anything like Diablo 3, I can then eventually use these scrap materials to upgrade items. But since the game is only wanting me to learn one thing at a time... It's not going to let me do that just yet. Okay, so we have some like this is very uh, familiar, very very familiar. Like Wortham was, I think, if memory serves me, if if memory serves me, level seven already. Um, if memory serves me, Wortham is one of the villages in da Diablo Three. I think it's the beginning one, a conduit shrine. Does this like give me? Like, I'm charged with lightning, so now I guess for a limited time, don't know how long, I can. Ah, yes, okay, so when. So I'm shocking enemies while I'm trying to die. So I can. Like, this is. Like, luckily, this is. This is what I. This is what I have to. This is what I don't like. Luckily, I'm blocking. I'm gonna have to turn off the game chat. It's on about. Like. Blizzard. Can you, like, please fix your, like chat and stuff in the game like the, the, it's the people people are toxic that's one thing the blizzard community there's so many people that play and the problem is these this mobile this mob is a mobile game so it's free so it's not just the blizzard community as such although there's a lot of toxicity generally in a blizzard community unfortunately from my experience because i've played many blizzard games the fact that anyone can pick this up means there's going to be so much stuff, um, so much spam, so much hateful stuff off people. So that's going to be a huge mark. Now see, is it Blizzard's fault for allowing this? Yes. <laughs> but they can't control everything that people say. They're on about Russian support, gays, uh, and just lots of different... Um, like seriously okay how do i t okay now i'm gonna have to interrupt my game because this is this is just disgraceful this is the, this is why i don't like playing online games it's because i have to see this stuff now where's the chat button okay so turn off all the chats outside of what i might want some stricter uh moderation somehow they're gonna have to implement it that restricted words and stuff i i don't know why they haven't thought about this like Okay, now it might be something that they'll patch in or fix it very quickly, but come on, as my first experience as a new player coming in and literally this is the type of community I see, I didn't even ask to turn on the chat, it was just there. 
So disappointing. You should have the other boss. Oh, okay, she's transforming. No. She disappeared. Oh, oh no, okay, she did transform. Dragon? So the dragon? Okay. Lizard? Creature? It's a phase two, a phase two of the combat. Okay, let's pick up this experience first because I'm good. <laughs> Oh, okay. Do not run into this, Jay. Why can't I use my spells? For some reason, it's not even me use my spells. Okay. Okay. And now it's like okay. My my game just didn't let me. Oh, oh. AOE dropping on the floor. I'm, I'm liking that all these bosses have, you know, they have different abilities and stuff. Uh, they definitely, it's going to get really good, I think. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a huge life increase. A thousand extra life and some extra fortitude. Um, a little bit of extra belt. <laughs> extra belt. And oh, more fortitude. Fortitude, um, it's armor. I still have zero armor for this. I don't know if this may be a... A display issue, how do I check it? View combat, okay. Um, so I have 10 fortitude, and now, okay, increases. So 10 fortitude, I get one extra armor and armor penetration. Okay, the, the values just seem a bit off to me. Maybe the, maybe the values are so huge later on in the game that that's why. So this is a world start. <laughs> And there's my cup of tea to help me start my gaming session. So this is a piece of the world stone. Cain will know what to do with it. Of course Cain knows what to do with it. Cain is the man. No one messes with Cain. But before we go to Cain, we're gonna to go to the blacksmith. It's gonna to have to keep collecting shards, it seems. Oh, is this a battle? Oh, what? Be oh, not alarmed, my old friend. For these frail bones come to you with an urgent request. Okay, so necromancer. My apprentice left us. Through like foul means acquired something. a shard of the world stone. In her pursuit of power, she has brought ruin upon Ashwold. Just, okay, why can't I pick up this? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm pressing X, but it keeps disappearing. Okay, there seems to be something here. I'm not quite sure, but I can't pick up this map. Every time I press X, it disappears. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, I think this is very finicky. I think there's an issue here. Uh, no, no. Okay, maybe I'll just try with the... Okay, so... <laughs> there seems to be an issue right this there. This is sanctuary. That is beta, so... To protect it, you must cross many lands. Where forgotten evils linger. Yet, you must go. Without fear, into the heart of the unknown. This burden falls to us. A chance to fight the darkness. To ensure our home survival. For a new evil covets the world stone's power. If a shard falls into hell's clutches, our world will burn. Ooh. Menestrating orchestral music. <laughs> okay, so it definitely seems to be a little issue with the control. Yes. Because we are. Be not fearless. Oh, okay. For those without fear. So that's that's kind of like the tutorial now nothing finished. precious to uh, Because look, to. now I'm interacting with Challenge the game community. Fear. Don't worry, it's just a small spend. Just a euro. Don't worry. Ah, and here we go. So now I can get a free daily reward. But right next to it, 
I get all 800% extra value, eternal orbs, okay, it's 10 euro for 600 of them. I get a little bonus though, of course, just to kind of make it that bit sweeter. 25 euro for 1,500 of them. This is going to be interesting. This is why I like to do when it comes to these type of games. Okay, so I gained my free daily reward. Nice. Crests. Okay, so 1,600 by 10 crests. And this is 1,500... Okay, plus to 150 is 1,000. So 25 euro gives me 10 crests. And I can use this powerful item when opening an Elder Rift. So, okay, there's rifts in this game, similar to Diablo 3, so I can go into these rifts. Probably a lot smaller because it's meant for mobile. Complete an Elder Rift is guaranteed to reward a legendary gem that can be sold in the market or used for yourself, I suppose. Um, okay. Not too much in your face so far. Ooh, oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Here's Blizzard. Here comes Blizzard now in full force. Let's look at our cash shop. So, hmm, I, and I bet you, ooh, you turn, and what's platinum? I don't know what platinum is, what, what's this? Uh, no, I don't want to buy something. What does platinum do? Use at the market and specialty vendors. Okay, so we have two different resources. So we can use these eternal orbs to buy this uh, platinum. Or, we can use real money to buy the eternal orbs. I'm sure there's a way to get eternal orbs in the game. Oh, no, 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 abort, abort. I'm not going to pay 100 goddamn euro. If, if that comes up on my screen, <laughs> I'm telling you, Blizzard, if you charge me 100 euro because I misclicked, I will kill you. <laughs> um, 100 euro? Come on. It's, it's yeah, okay, it's... Uh, I don't know how important these are, and as long as you can gain them f fairly, not so bad. Oh, come on. Or you can buy a hundred, for example, for 60 of these, if I spent a hundred euro just buying this, I get 6,000. So it's the extra 1,200, that's what they want you to go for the big, that big sale right there, you know. Okay, and I can buy all these different stones, whatever these materials are for. Um, I, I don't even care about this stuff right now, but I, I can spend all these gems on these different materials. So I can buy crests, I can buy bundles, uh, cosmetics. Well, cosmetics, you know, I don't mind the whole cosmetic things in games because it's not player power. It's just for you to look cool. And in all fairness, she looks very cool. This looks pretty badass. I like... I... I like this one in particular. This one is just really, it's just, it's really well done. Very high, you know, yeah, just very highly well done, the, the art. But of course it has to be, because you're going to pay real money. There's events, I claim the Hodrick legacy. Okay, I already claimed it. So why can't I use it? Wait, let me go into, oh, maybe it's now unlocked. Okay, let's go into my inventory, cosmetics, because I did pre-register on this on mobile, so I should have it, but I don't see it. Okay, it says that I should have it, but I don't see it. Hmm, I'm not sure, so. Um, that's okay, it's not a big deal. It's actually a lot faster. So I think what I'm going to do is when I want to click on the side things, on the side menu, I'm just going to use my mouse. It's so much faster. Um, so there's lots of other features I still haven't seen yet. Beastery, a Paragon system, there's Diablo 3, there's something up here. Um, do I have to do first kill of the day? Okay, so if I, my first kill of the day, didn't I just defeat at least one monster a day to earn a free reward? That's actually decent. Like it's very easy. Okay, log in for two seconds and you get a free reward. Um, that's decent. And I get a bone. Ooh, okay. At least I get some legendary thing at the end of the week. But that's to encourage me to play seven days a week. Uh, seven days of the week. So, but then again, you're literally playing for just a, mo a moment. So, not too bad. But they're trying to already suck you into, you know, play often. But that's what mobile games generally tend to do. Uh, I, I think this is excessive. 100 euro just for some gems. But... Once again, you know, what's th what's the difference between collector and standard? I'm not sure. 
Oh, you get... Oh, okay, you can get a town portal ch change with this one. Okay, so you, it can match your set. Alright, okay. It just costs a bit more, just to get the extra bit. Okay, so I can also uh, open the zone map. And I can also open the world map. Okay, okay so I like this that tells me what level I can, you know, need to be to go to different places. West March. Well, that's going to be cool to go to West March. Level 12, 8 to 22, 20 to 29, 40 to 45. So I'm going to be going up to Darkwood and then 29. Where it goes to 30. Okay, so then we're going to go to the Sh uh, Sh Shazar, Shazar Sea. Then the library is holding cool. Okay, Zoltan Cool appears until 41. Then we're going to go down to Bilefen to 45 or so. Then to Mount Z Zavin, Zavin. And then to Frozen Tundra until 55. Now I think the max level is 60. So there seems... Oh, 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 okay. And the, there we go. The Realm of Damnation. Okay. So the Realm of Damnation is going to be the last area of the game. So I wonder how long... How many hours it will take to get this far? But we're already level 11. So we're going fine, I think. We have a princess uh, jeweler. Can I talk to her? No, not yet. So the game doesn't want me to go there just yet. Oh, okay. I could do automatic navigation. Okay, so literally I don't even have to touch the, just to prove I'm not doing anything. It's navigating. Okay, I kind of did not... I didn't think the game did this, but okay, it actually does. So I can automatically just sit back and let my character run to this new location if I can't teleport. In a way, it's nice, but also lazy. <laughs> um, don't know how I feel about that. I know I've seen this in games and I mm, mixed feelings on it. Okay, so now I'm going out of this map and I'm going to my new map. So what I know is is that oh, the game is connected on your mobile phone and on your PC. So you can literally pick up, play it on your PC, and then when you don't have time to go on your PC, let's say you're traveling, you're on tr public transport, you can play it on your mobile and it will all save instantly. So that's good. I like that the, that, that connectivity um, is there. Oh, it's my first daily kill. Okay, I got a breastplate of fortitude. For my breasts. Please do not hide this. my breasts in this game. Okay, I got a new bandit, bandit belt as well. Okay, it's a li little upgrade. Okay, not bad, but it's an upgrade. It's an upgrade. I'm happy. Who Wasted reads my that? Time, you peasant. Oh, so this is Lethys. I know her Lethys. body was buried here. The Where is Asilla's tomb? Where's the tomb? Queen's tomb. Was hidden. The dead deserve their rest. Captain Mayor, well, that's not a good answer. Oh, the yep. dead serve me. Ooh, a fact nasty. you will learn soon enough. Nasty, aren't you? You, it's your turn. So I suggest She's you speak badass. quickly. I like her. Where is the I like a strong woman. I don't know. None of us do. Well, you have to be evil. Only the Queen's handmaiden knew its location. I swear. Oh. Let us stop this. Your wanton disregard for life ends here. You okay, we're about to just uh, start to so, no, How I tire place. of your jealous attempts to suppress my potential. Of now, course. My your potential. I am the best. Order will be swept away I and replaced by one with by the, the ambition to reshape this corrupt world. I like the voice you acting. Are it's a actually relic, really well done. Old man. And you are no longer needed. Ooh. Why didn't they just fight? If she if she already knows that she's stronger, does Beats give me a little bit of a guide now on how to upgrade. So I can upgrade. Let's upgrade these because these are rare. Um, so it uses some of my gold, uh, some of the uh, disenchanting or uh, scrapped uh, material, and now it's rank one, and I get a little bit of a an increase in in these secondary stats. Okay. That's um, pretty cool. Can I do another one? Yeah, I have enough for another one. But now it uses a little bit more to bring it up again. Sure, why not? And now I can't bring it up anymore. So I wonder how many ranks they can go to. The now, what is well this done. rank two? Did that bring... I'm not sure did that also bring up the, the other things like this. 
I think it was only... Yeah, I think it was just the stats it brought up. I could be wrong, though. So now I've done this on the Codex. Brought up to rank 2. Um, I got... Okay, so my combat rating is also locked to... Is also tied to uh, some progression. Okay, so I'm pretty low. Enter Mad King's Breach. Mad King... Is that Leoric? Are they bringing Leoric back? Like, literally what they did in Diablo 1... Did... Was he didn't... He wasn't in 2, was he? I don't think he was in 2. I could be wrong. No, he wasn't. I, I, Diablo 3 is the first big boss of Diablo 3. Um, I need energy. Okay, so I got a huge chest of different things. Some enchanted mats. Okay, that's cool. I guess some people are in groups, maybe. Like groups, people who are friends in life. Which I don't have. Which I don't. I don't have friends. No one wants to play with me. Rewarding you, just giving you slow little bits of reward, making you feel good, being like, yeah, it's like, look, if I only get to this next level or this next check mark, boom. So it feels good so far. Um, it definitely feels like a Diablo game, which was, which, you know, I was a bit nervous about that it might not feel like a Diablo game. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy so far. Awesome. Don't you, Sewell. Oh. Always so persistently afraid of my talent. What? Soon, Leoric's soul will be mine. And with it, I will be the greatest necromancer alive. Rathma himself will fear my name. And you. This will be when you're fighting a rage. Because you have no way to stop their damage. So you can be quite... You can be quite fragile. It is done. The breach is open. You, you cannot, cannot stop, stop it. it. And I don't intend to. You are my target, Lethus. My failure to put down. Please. You can no more put me down this time than you could the last. Oh, bitch. Here, reach level 16, got a tiny little upgrade there. What's server progress about? Server progress. What happens when I get server progress? When server progress is 100% and you have reached level 13, you receive these ones. Okay, that's kind of cool that, you know, uh, the more people the can play get is drawing And how reward. would I do that? Kill the Auric. That's a pretty much kill the Auric. Okay, so now I get the battle pass. I can get some legendary, get some different cosmetics, legendary quest, crest. So I marked these already? Okay. At least I got level one done, yay! So I have to rank up now. Free. Free unlock, how much is the unlock? Empowered battle pass, five euro. And that will give you it will allow me to get all the extra lines, so all this extra stuff, it seems I can get. Rank purchase. Oh no, that's asking me to rank. Okay, so let's see. How many levels are in this battle pass? Is it 40? Yeah, it seems to be 40 from... Okay, all oh, this lovely stuff. And it seems if I do the empowered for 5 euro, I get... Um... Which isn't bad, you know, for battle pass that's actually decent, like 5 euro isn't much. And you get extra rewards and things at, at the end, like you get some cosmetics and like you, you're you playing the game anyway and you're getting extra stuff. It's not bad, they could have priced that way higher. I've seen games price the battle pass insanely large. There's a game called Hero Wars, they are literally the definition of greed. 
I, I believe their battle pass is like 45 euro. 45 euro for a battle pass. I can't remember what rates Shadow Legends battle pass was, but I don't think it was that bad either. As in, it wasn't 45 euro, at least. Um, so, that's reasonable that if you're going to play this game, like, this is a free game, first and foremost. It is good to pay, you know, pay something towards it because, you know, you're getting this content for free. You don't have to, but it is good to support the developers, especially when it's a good game. Now, obviously, Blizzard, you know, they make millions upon millions and millions every year, so, you know, they don't need, as such, your money. And now, the Empowered, the Collector's Empowered Pass, gain access to all the Empowered Track Rewards, plus immediate cosmetic rewards. So you get the portal, you get an avatar increase, and you get 14 levels. And that's 15 euro. Plus the original. And a boon of a plenty the, provides 30 days worth of benefits in addition to daily login rewards. So you get all this, these gems and legendary crests on a daily basis for 30 days, which obviously would be really good. But you also, monthly rewards, you get plus six rows to your inventory expansion. Ah, so your inventory is very limited. But then again, it is limited in the other Diablo games too. So remote market access anywhere in the world and you also get extra trading slots to trade your items and stuff which we don't have not got any experience with using yet stack up to 90 days of rewards available for three so it's 10 euro if you want all these extra login rewards um yeah so you could so literally okay we what we can do here so what the game that I think this is reasonably priced, just off the bat. Just as a quick glance, I think that five euro is re is uh, recently, you know, because you're going getting lots of these extra things, as mentioned anyway. I don't know how good this stuff is, but you know, you you can collect them, so that's decent. Where I'm having the problem is is of course in the beginning when we saw this 100 euro bundle for this so you could literally just come into this game being like okay i have cash to burn let's buy 100 euro worth of this um these eternal orbs uh we can like upgrade my stuff a little bit here we go good or get some cosmetics with it yada yada or buy some materials probably later on okay let's go in also look i want to get through the battle pass as quick as possible so let's go in and add on an extra 15 euro here so that's 115 euro approximately just spent and look hmm look i can get i can spend another 10 euro that's 125 euro and i get all these extra rewards and i'm getting like a monthly reward on top of that um, I can do that three times right now if I want to, but let's just say you just did it for the month. So you have 30 days, so you're all, so pretty much you have like a membership as such, um, which costs 10 euro a month. If you want, like this is kind of hit or miss, I don't have a clue about what these really are useful for yet outside of let's say the cosmetics and probably buying some things later. Uh, yeah, like these orbs. It only seems to be the orbs and cosmetics and this platinum and these stones so so far. Um, uh, and over, and there's this bundle. Okay, there's only one bundle, someone one yours. Not the worst thing in the world, but you know. Or you could go really cheap. If, for example, you can make it really cheap and be like, uh, you know, reasonable for yourself where you don't purchase any of this stuff you get the battle pass because you're going to be like especially if you know you're going to be playing for the next 35 days you know if you like the game also hopefully this is achievable within 35 days as well that you can get to max level and you don't actually have to require you know rely on this this of course would be good if you know that you're not going to be playing every single day uh there's probably multiple ways to get rank up a bit faster um yeah, you know, you can make it cheap enough that you buy this, this beginner's pack just to get some extra... I don't even think this is worth it. Like, like yeah, you get this ex Like, if you're going to buy Eternal Orbs, yeah, you can spend that one euro and get the 60 of them, which you get in this beginner's bundle anyway, but you get a little cosmetic. So, you might as well buy that instead of just the currency deal. There'll be probably more stuff as time goes on. The login rewards are probably really good, 
on a daily basis. Oh, total rewards. Ah, okay. I misread that. I misread that completely. So these are what you get over 30 days. So you get drop fed. One of these every single day. One of these every single day. Probably one of these after 15 days and seven. That'd be every four or so days you get one of these. Ah, okay. If it, Now, I was kind of thinking, since this is so powerful, well, it probably is. Griffs are big in Diablo 3. So what I was thinking was you get this on a day, because I wasn't reading this part. The small print, guys, the small print is really important. Why I was thinking this could be a good deal if you were to spend money was because you get seven of these a day. Where, you know, you can buy 10 of them for 1,600, which we already pretty much found out is 25 euro. And that's only for 10, and you're getting seven every single day. That's what I initially thought, and I was like, okay, that's not bad. Considering I th I'm assuming they're going to be really essential as the game progresses. Until I saw that you get seven over the month. <laughs> so yeah, a little bit different there. Now, where's my battle pass again? Ah, there it is. So how many do I get if I was to spend five euro? How many of these legendary looking dudes? Okay, we get one crest. Just one so far. Two crests. They are quite rare, these legendary crests. We get two crests for five euro. Um, one halfway through the adventure, through the battle pass. Mm, it's mm, it's egregious, but could be worse. Okay, so what's what's this about? So okay, so this is the first dungeon in the game. Can get some experience rewards, some gold, and some random equipment. So there's difficulty settings. Three three different difficulties. In normal and hell, one hell. At which uh, this maybe this unlocks later on or. Uh, dungeon monster difficulty is dynamic based on the number of players in the party. Number two difficulty in Hell 1, uh, party of at least two players is required to enter, and in Hell 2 and above, dungeon uh, monster difficulty is hard and requires four player parties to enter. Okay, so you can go, you, so you can find a party to play this or go solo. Um, the elements are at my command. Yeah, sure. Why, why not? Why not? Let's have a party. Let's have a party. Come on, let's, we'll have a party. Let's, something that we're not doing solo for once. Let, let's try it, Jay. Something we're not doing solo. Let's see how the game handles party play. This is a review after all, right? Well, our first impressions. Look at this game. So, oh. oh, okay. So people are declining. Ooh, this is oh, this is gone? Where's he gone? Is that oh. I think there was a rare guy that just spawned there. Our powers are stronger combined. Okay, so there's people joining the party and leaving the party, and now Okay, so we're pretty much we have to all accept. And someone is declining again. <sighs> and now it's left there. Let's just do three men. Okay, we're going three, man. Okay, fine. Can't always rely on other people. Three is good. I was cast aside. That's my favorite voice actor. But I found the shard. I found purpose. The Queen's spirit would lead me to Leoric. And the power to rule over the dead. I will be vindicated. The Oryx soul is the key. It looks the exact same as Diablo 3. I like the little cutscenes. Okay, so yeah. Skeletons, probably more whirlwinds like 
The warmth of life has no place among the damned. Gear rank transfer. Okay. So now I got my codex. Oh, I got some battle pass. Okay, so now it's starting to unlock the battle pass stuff. Equip 210 level. Items. Okay, so completing dungeons give me increases. huge experience. I'm also, um, it's giving me really big experience stuff to these dungeons. Oh, I got another level on the pass. Nice and fast so far, but uh, okay, now it's going up. The next level is going to require a little bit more. Oh, another one time bonus. 570% extra value. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, well, at least it includes one of these legendary crests. So at least it's better than um, the first one, I guess. Yeah, it seems to be. It's going to be an issue. Let's salvage all blues. Let's salvage all this stuff. Let's maybe upgrade an item. Um. This sounds good. Rank one. Bring this up. Let's do another one. Because it's cheap to bring it to rank two, so I might as well do it. Rank transfer. Select an item to rank transfer to rank. Oh, oh okay. So I can... If I get a new... And it doesn't seem to cost me anything to do it. Okay, so if I get a new pair of pants... I can just transfer this rank onto a new pair of pants. Okay, job that's well good. done. That's actually really well thought because why would you ever want to upgrade a leveling pair of pants kind of thing when you might need all these, um, when you might need all of this for, well, you know, later on in the game and stuff. Uh, okay, she disappeared. But it looked like she was dying but disappeared. Maybe that's just a death animation? But I don't know. Maybe she teleported? I'm not sure. So, nice little boss. Let this escape oh. then. She never was the type to put her life on the line. Ooh, so we finished the first area of the game. You know. According to like according to the world map, the reason why I say that is because according to the world map. Okay, this was the first section of the game. Like, let's just say this too. I'm, how, what level am I? Level 20, okay. Um, so now we are come to West March, which doesn't have a level, so it's just, I guess, the main hub of the game. And after this, we're going to the Dark Wood, where just the right level, at least, to start it, so that's good. Hold there a moment, stranger. We're speaking with all new arrivals seeking asylum. Hmm. You don't look like one of these refugees from Ashwald. I'm supposed to meet someone in the city. Hmm. Another tight-lipped adventurer. You're not the first to step through these gates on business. All right, everything checks out. Move along and keep. Uh, okay, for a for a okay, Lieutenant Dunn, you didn't really do much to examine me, or you had a quick chat with me, like. That yeah, you're just leaving anyone into the city that easy? Yeah, I need to I need to talk to someone. Ha! Huh. I knew it had to be you. Been waiting a while for you to show. Charcy would have stayed, but you know, she from... she's got business to run. She's... Is she from Charcy? Is she from... Um, is she from the first game or the second game? I think it's the second I'm game. I'm sorry. Have a quick look. Okay, yes, this is definitely your... The main hub of the game. Pretty large. Uh, Hall of Ascension. Rift challenges. Ship transports, all this kind of stuff. Charm craftsman. Okay, so I guess this is the What do you need, friend? Excuse me. Are you Chelsea? 
It's you. You're here. Yeah, Kane is gonna be so happy you arrived. I don't care what you have to say, really. Oh, okay, I got a legendary quest, okay. Ah, so the game want- okay, they want me to use one so I can see how useful they are, so then I will purchase them. Okay, a daily reward, I get a rare crest every day when I come back here. Another reason for me to purchase them. No, keep going. Uh, add crest to mod favorites and game rewards. Okay. So if I add this- okay, so it's telling me to add it. And now, it guarantees I'll get a legendary gem. What happens if I add one to the press? Ah, okay, I get more of this thing. Well, I might as well just add it. I've done it again. Might as well just add it. Okay. Okay, game. Okay, so Shockwave, what's this? Player attacks have a chance to trigger Shockwave. Untold riches monsters sometimes drop treasure chest. That's good. And lava flows, lava periodically erupts new players. Okay, so we have some rift modifiers. Why does this like go mean good, but it's like boring? I, I don't know. This seems very beneficial. This should be green. At least I think it should be green. Not orange is in danger. Oh, okay, here's the lava that spawns. Oh, okay. What I'll do is I'll, okay, let me. Oh, I can't, okay, so I can't equip, I can't equip during the rip. It's actually a lot easier than, um, the dungeon. Oh, that's Stuff, I've got a legendary weapon, or a legendary gem, and now I can get it. Oh, they, what can I do for you? blacksmith if I want to salvage stuff. Uh, maybe not hmm. salvage anything Back yet to work until then. I see my upgrades. Wow, so I got a lot of upgrades from that. And I can socket a gem. So increases re resonance by 30. Not quite sure what resonance is. Um, 12 to combat rating. So, okay. So more gear level, I guess. Uh, your primary attacks and movement slowly charge you up with electricity when fully charged. Your primary attack will release chain lightning. Okay, dealing da da da, blah blah blah. Occur cannot occur more often than once every 20 seconds. Okay. So, oh, I just got like a big upgrade there now with this legendary gem. Resonance increases equipment base attributes by 1.5%. Okay. So, this slightly could increase the, well, the larger things go. Okay. It's telling me about the boon again. Okay, game, you don't have to really keep shoving this in my face. Okay, there's a bounty board. The guard refreshes bounties every day, so keep an eye out. Um, complete up to eight bounties per day with new bounties refreshing at 3 a.m. Completing less than eight bounties increases your maximum the next day, up to a maximum of 24, or resets back down to eight every Monday morning. You may re-roll up to three bounties per day, but the rewards do not change when re-rolling. Bounties can also be done in a party. Okay. So this is my first one. Opening the way. I only have one. So if I do four of them, I get a bounty chest that contains gold. And if I complete eight, I get, well, more gold, it seems. So I get lots of experience. I get random equipment for completing this particular one. I'll kill these two before anyone else shows up. Uh, kill these two dead. Oh, so I can actually make legendary gems. Ah, but I need some of this stuff that I get from the rifts, I guess. And I only have four. Okay. Alright, so, oh, there's lots. Okay, there's lots of different types of gems. Um, so if you play it right, you might be able to actually finish these trail. bounties Please, while just doing your regular quests. Like Mistress. I've done as you asked. The blood of every man, woman, and child in Blackstone cool. runs through your veins. Yet it is not enough. I must be whole once more. Hasten your efforts, lest you lose my favor. Oh, you pet. I shall discard you too, if you live. Follow me if you would. She speaks very slowly, but she is an elderly woman, so that makes sense, so I'm just reading a lot faster. Secrets to you. Okay, 
so I have to kill enemies. Continue collecting essence to unlock more pages. Okay. So quite a lot of enemies it seems. That there will be. Rare monsters, there's 14 rare monsters, unique monsters, uh, 38 common monsters. Okay. And I can get rewards for them as time goes on. Alright. So I just talk to him. Okay, get the reward. Okay, I got some gold. I got hollow focus. It wasn't an upgrade though. And now we can accept more now that I've done the tutorial. So I can kill Bloodstone Rogues. Okay, all this stuff is in... Is that two Bloodstone Okay, this is twice? So this is the end of, of the first impressions. Um, it's It seems good. It seems good. Honest, My honest opinion is that it does seem good. So it will be interesting to see... Will they add in more content in the future? I'd imagine what will definitely be added into the future is every 30 or so plus days, each month or so, they'll add in a new a new round of battle pass to keep people interested. Uh, the, I have to see how the, the progression is going to go in the game as well. Um, it's with the gears and then the different dungeons and the different levels associated with the dungeons. Uh, it could be very good to play. Uh, I will most likely play it until I at least finish the main storyline. There's no harm in that, provided I don't have to spend money to complete the game. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of... And I like that the first kill of the day, it's just one kill and you get something. Like you get a legendary gem on the third day, so that's pretty cool. And you get a legendary uh, helmet on day seven, so that could be... Good. I guess this is based on your kind of your average item level or so at that point. Um, there's lots of stuff to do between collecting bounties, collecting the beastary uh, on on the side. Uh, like there's so many, there's lots more levels and a lot more abilities for me to still unlock and try out, uh, which is good. Um, it is limited a little bit with how many abilities you can get, but. You know, there might be more in the future, who knows. The Paragon system, I have to reach level 60, so that's definitely not happening right now. Um, you have the Codex, you have Conquest, you have all these achievements. There's no achievements yet, it seems. Um, that's something to add into the game at a later stage. But there's different progression uh, here to unlock. Uh, you have your guide activities uh, all there as well. And on top of that, you have your challenge rifts which will keep changing. You can do your daily dungeons in the battle pass. Pretty much the battle pass will tell you what you really realistically need to do on a daily basis. Okay, and also on top of that then, oh my God, a little bit more. You can do bounties on a daily basis, um, which and completing more bounties will give you more and more uh, experience. So at least you're getting experience towards the battle pass by pr pretty much doing one of the gameplay features. You have your you have your daily dungeons. This is the featured dungeon because it's the only dungeon I can do. I guess there'll be probably uh, it'll probably be every day a different uh, random uh, featured dungeon, probably based on where you are so far in the game. That would make the most sense. You can do elder rifts um, to get some more battle pass. You have challenge rifts as well. I don't, which I haven't got yet I don't believe or do I is that the same as the elder rift oh no this is something completely different yeah, just goals, really. and look up to 200 wow. doesn't seem that much gold and, and also you get some other rewards for when you complete it for the first time per day I think first completion rewards Okay, so at the end of the challenge you get experience and then uh, you also got uh, you get your loot. The difference between the challenge rift and the elder rift is that it's free to enter from what I can see. You don't have to have a currency like the other uh, and you just have to keep progressing upwards. You don't get experience, you get, you get daily challenge uh, rewards. Uh, for first time completion and also uh, and also the first time completion per level as well and you also get experience once you finish it and you will also get items once you finish it 
but not during it. So it is definitely a different type of uh, progression. Oh, there's even, okay. There is a lot more. You just have to unlock them as time goes on. Legacy of the Haradrim, Kikoris Rapids, Heliquary, Battleground, Tomb of the Fahir. Okay, these could be all different dungeons. Destruction's End, Temple of Namari, Cavern of Echoes, Side Quests. They all unlock at different levels, so the Pit of Anguish, so some of these seem to be based on the zone, but there's a lot of stuff that you could potentially be doing on a daily kind of basis, or maybe even a weekly basis or so, and these will surely not only um, give you materials and stuff, or items, but they all come towards this battle pass. So, yeah, there is a lot to do in this game, a lot to keep people occupied, but it is absolutely enjoyable. The cash shop is a bit egregious, but other than that, guys, I'm not sure how, you know, crazy we're going to need these eternal orbs as time goes on outside the cosmetics and stuff. But it really, it's just something we're go I'm going to have to see as time goes on. And how you actually collect these normally would be, uh, would be good too. You should be able to get some of these surely for free so you could have a chance to buy some stuff over time. What I did notice on the mobile version is that when you start the game for the first time, there's lots of downloading that has to be done. Like, to down, they have to additionally download each area and some other stuff, like items and things, which I thought was quite strange that, you, you know, you download it while you play. Yeah, not quite sure what I think, what I think of that, but um, as long as it doesn't get in the way of your progress, then it's not such a bad thing, but there is a lot to download. I guess the reasoning behind that is that, look, Download a significant chunk of it just so you can start playing and then you can download more as you play. The problem what I can see is, is that if you're playing it and you don't have a strong internet connection or so and you're also trying to download it, you might get to an area where, where you cannot pass yet until it downloads and that might cause an issue. You might have to stop temporarily. So there seems to be two more additions down here, whatever. These could be along with all the other stuff as I level up. But other than that guys, if I do not see you, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Jamie out, take care, I hope you enjoyed this video.